What's going on everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Indiana Pacers versus Detroit Pistons NBA matchup going down Thursday, February 22nd, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the Indiana Pacers and Detroit Pistons. The Indiana Pacers coming in 31-26 and 26 on the year, 29-24-3 against the number this season. After ending up with a 127-125 win over Toronto in their final game before the All-Star break. Meanwhile, Detroit uh, entered the All-Star break on a three-game losing streak after a 116-100 loss to Phoenix. Dropped them to 8-46 and 46 on the year, 27-27 and 27 against the number. And now, you know... The, the all-star festivities, the party's over in Indiana, and now they got to get back to business. And this is an Indiana team that definitely has, you know, some some uh, some serious postseason aspirations. And, you know, for good reason, you know, coming into this game, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the Indiana Pacers currently occupy the sixth spot in the Eastern Conference. Half game up on two teams in the play-in tournament race right now. But I'll tell you, you know, the Pacers are an exciting young team, and as long as they stay healthy... Feels like the sky is the limit for this team to make, maybe uh, you know make do some damage in the first couple rounds of the playoffs. Don't know if they're a team that we can trust to maybe go on a deep run in in the NBA playoffs. But again, it sure would be fun to see if they could, because mainly the problem for Indiana has been still the defense, and you know you got to be always weary about you know teams that don't play defense, and you know the the offense will only take you so far because if the shots aren't falling, well the defense is the one thing you can really control on that end and. Um, I said, if those shots aren't falling, it makes it really hard to win games, let alone playoff games. On the other side of the coin, though, a team that doesn't really know much about winning games this season has been the Detroit Pistons. They said eight wins out of 54 attempts this season. Um, they have picked up some wins here and there, and, you know, they have been competitive in a lot of spots. You know, they were on a nice run as, you know, double-digit underdogs going into the All-Star break before back-to-back non-covers against the Lakers and the, and the, and the Phoenix Suns. Um, and they are catching double digits again here. And head-to-head -head between these two teams, it's been Indiana in the first two meetings, but one meeting saw Indiana cover by, you know, a, a sizable margin, winning by 23 as 9.5-point favorites. But another meeting saw, you know, Indiana barely cover as 7.5-point favorites, winning by 8 in early December. So, you know, at 11.5, these two teams would be 1-1 one and one against the number this season in head-to-head -head matchups. But, you know... I still can't get there maybe late 11 and a half with the Pacers, even though I think they are the far better team. I think they do have a chance putting up some solid offensive numbers here. Because like I said, the defense kind of uh, kind of scares me a little bit. And even though the Detroit Pistons didn't enter the break with the best of form, they're still a decent enough team that can put up points on their best day. So rather than mess around with the side here, I think I'm just going to go with the over. I mean, it's hit in each of the first two meetings this season. The first meeting finished with 249 with the line set at 246 and a half. And then we had 254 points with 247 and a half as the total. Sort of around the same number here. I expect no different. I'm going to go with the over between the Pistons and the Pacers. And that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on. So you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.